Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you to the Lord. We're going to continue with our class, final class of today, and there is the opportunity of grammar. So we're going to start and, and to see a new topic on the lesson 17 <clears throat> about um, adverbs. That is a topic of grammar. We're going to start to see adverbs in there. Okay, it's really hot. Okay, so we are going to start to see an adverb. We are going to know what is an adverb. We're going to know what type of adverbs exist. And also we're going to know in which way we can use an adverb in a sentence or in a paragraph, people. Okay. Uh, I already sent to your parents the instructions about uh, the grammar process number one okay that you have to present today because it's today the homework okay mister and I, and I will repeat it for you yes no well actually wait Karin wait 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 I know what is your question. It's because your mother is not in the group, right? Right? No, mister. The homework of grammar is in the platform or in, in the end of email. Okay. <clears throat> I will set the instructions right now. Okay. I said that the grammar homework must be uploaded in the platform. And the audio is on email, okay? You have to send it by email because if you use, and you try to upload the audio into the platform, it will be difficult. So the audio is on that, it, you have to send it by email. Only the document, I need to see it <clears throat> in that platform, okay? The type of letter, it's Times New Roman, size 12. And I don't want to see plagiarism in that document. Okay, I don't want to see plagiarism. A que me refiero plagiarism? Plagio. A que me refiero con plagio? En que usted solo va a dar copy paste al documento. Es un ensayo lo que tienen que hacer. About what is the issue you have to write? any historical event in the past. I don't want to see nothing about COVID. I don't want to see about any, uh, about, I don't want to see any job about the pandemic we have right now. Is historical event, no present event. Okay, es historia. I already see one, somebody sent me by email and says COVID-19, I don't want to do COVID-19. I don't want nothing about COVID-19. For the reason I said, historical event. Historical event, evento historico, okay? <clears throat> um, what else? Well, actually only that. You will say, Mister, it's an essay. Yes, it's an essay, one page minimum. I don't want big titles. I don't want. Um, I don't want big titles. I just want. Let's see. I I I I will try to make it. I will I I will try to make it something for you for saying this way. To understand what I want. To understand what I want. Let's see. Just give me a few minutes, seconds. Please, off your mics. Okay. I will ask the question I already uh, see. For example, 
I made about Apollo 11. Yes, it's an, it was a historical event, of course. Mister, can I do it by the Peste Negra? Yes, of course. It was a illness in the 13th century. It's in digital? Of course it's in digital. I don't want to see pictures. I don't want to see pictures. Okay, Marilyn, don't worry. Enjoy your food. Um, okay, Roland. Yes, you can. You can show it. I will. Sh um, you have in digital, right? I will make your host. <clears throat> Please show us to see what I really want for that homework. A command. Okay, make me host again. Okay, what I want, I will share with you what I really want. Okay. I want to share with you what I really want or how to make it. Right. For example, I have my Word document. Okay. You can see that Word document in your screen. Yes. Okay. So I want of letter Times New Roman number 12. So in the center, okay, of the uh, page, for example, I will write the title Apollo 11, for saying this way. Apollo 11. Okay. So you will try to write about something about Apollo 11. Um, for example, in the year of 1969, okay? In the year of 1969, the United States of America try to arrive to the moon and blah, 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 blah. You have to investigate about that topic, about that historical event. And what you have to write in the page, it's about your own words. For that reason, I don't want plagiarism because, <clears throat> because it's an investigation you, you have to do. Okay, I don't want plagiarism. No quiero plagio de solo dar copiar y pegar. No, es algo que usted tiene que investigar y es algo que usted tiene que escribir con sus propias palabras. ¿Cuánto tienen que escribir? Es la página completa. Por eso les enseñé. For the reason I show you, only the title and you start to write three or four paragraphs. No more. Three or four paragraphs, and that is going to complete in one page. You upload to the platform, and I will know that it's yours because it doesn't need you. You have to write your name. Okay? Questions about the homework? Questions about the homework? No. I hope you follow the instructions. I hope Roland Mike. I hope you follow the instructions. Okay, let's go to start with the class, people. Let's go to start with the class. Uh why are you in two places, Roland? Ah, uh, okay, let's see. And this one. This one. Okay, show us. What do you have? Hi, man. Make the other one host. Because I can make you host. I'm not the host.
Okay, okay, let's see. We have, Roland, you can put it on, up, 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 up. Up, 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 up to the top. And reduce the page because I want, we want to see all the page. That's right, yeah. That, I want that way that Roland showed us. Only that way, you see? I only want that, that way. Nothing more. It's easy to do it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Roland. Make me host. <clears throat> thank you. So we're going to start with the topic about adverbs. We're going to start with the adverbs. Okay. Now, we already know what is an adverb. We already know what is an adjective. We already know what is a noun. So we're going to talk to talk about this week about adverbs. So what do you think it's about? It's an adverb. Let's see. I will share a PowerPoint presentation as always. Okay, I will share with you people and talk about a little bit what is an adverb. Okay. We're going to talk about a little bit of what is an adverb. So, let's see. Adverbs. We already have the screen. Okay, adverbs. What is an adverb? An adverb, it's a word that, that usually describes a verb. Adverbs tells how when or where an action happens. For example, how they play the music loudly. How, when they play the music loudly. How they play the music loudly. Okay. When he came early, When he came, he came early. Okay. Where? We went inside. Where were you being? On Taiwan. Where were you being? We went inside. Okay. So, let's see. We have different types of adverbs. Okay, we have different types of, of adverbs, but first we're going to watch, we're going to watch about a video, okay, that explain a little bit more about adverbs. And we're going to see the types of adverbs, okay, we're going to see the types of adverbs. So please pay attention. Hello friends. Welcome to the 13th grammar lesson. In this lesson, we will discuss all about adverbs. This is the fifth part of speech from the eight parts of speech that we are learning. We have already discussed about the four parts of speech, which are noun, pronoun, verb, and adjective in our previous videos. This checkout video, if you haven't already or you need a revision, the links are in the description. To get most out of this video, please watch it till the end. Okay, so let's get started. What is an adverb? Adverb is a word that modifies a verb, adjective, or an adverb in any sentence. What does modify mean here? It means it adds or change the meaning of verb, adjective, or adverb in any sentence. Now let's look into each of the three modifications in some examples <coughs> to make things clear. How does adverb modifies verb or we can say an adjective? 
calcium and performed by the subject. There are four ways in which a group modifies or describes the action. Firstly, how an action is performed. Secondly, where is the action performed? Third, when the action is performed. And fourth, how often or frequent the action that we are talking is performed. Now, let's see some examples of each. Firstly, we will see the adverb that describes how an action is performed. The alarm rang loudly. Here, we can identify that the alarm rang. But how it rang? It rang loudly. So, loudly is describing us the manner in which the alarm rang. And hence, it is adverb. Let's look into another example. Harry ran quickly. Here, we are able to know that Harry ran. But quickly is describing the manner in which Harry ran. So, quickly is an adverb here. As this adverb describes the manner in which the action is performed, we have called adverb of manner. Now, let's look into the next way in which we can describe any action. Where an action occurred. Put the case there. Here we are telling to put the case, but at which place? By using there, we are telling the place to put the cake. So it is an adverb. I looked everywhere for my book. I looked at my book. But where I looked? I looked everywhere in the room. Here, everywhere is the adverb. As I am telling the location where I looked in the book. As this adverb describes where the action happened, these are called adverb of place. Now, let's look into the next way in which we describe action. When exactly the action happened, Kriti went to gym today. Here, we are able to know that Kriti went to gym. But when she went today, so today is an adverb here. They go out to dinner weekly. Now we can see that they go out to dinner without using weekly also. But weekly says us when do they go to dinner? As this adverb describes when the action exactly happened, these are called adverb of time. Now let's look into fourth way in which we describe action. How often or frequent the action is happening? Sometimes he plays cricket. Here we are understanding that he plays cricket. But what is the frequency or how often he plays? He plays sometimes. So sometimes is adverb here. British never smokes. Here never describes us that he never do smoking and thus telling us the frequency of his smoking. So never is adverb here. As this adverb describes the frequency of action. These are called adverb of frequency. Now, we have seen the examples of adverb that are describing verb or any action. Let's look into the adverb that describes adjective. He is very happy to this. Now, what is the adjective here? Happy. And this word describes the intensity of this happiness. Very. So, very is an adverb describing the adjective happy. Sia wore brightly colored dress in the party. Here, what is describing our dress? It is color. So, color is an adjective. Now, what is the intensity of color? It is described by brightly. So, it is an adverb here. Now, you will have understood the adverb that describes an adjective. Now, let's look into some examples of adverbs <laughs> that describe some other adverbs in the sentence. The dancer moves so gracefully. Here, how the dancer moves is described by adverb gracefully. But, so word here is describing the intensity of word gracefully and thus actually describing the adverb. The scientist quite easily solved the problem. Here, easily is describing the action of solving the problem. So, it is an adverb. But, the word quite is used here to describe the adverb easily. So, quite is an adverb here and is actually describing another adverb easily. So, 
these are the basics about adverbs that you should know. Let's quickly revise what we have learned in this video. Firstly, adverbs are the words that modifies three things: verb, adjective, or adverbs. And depending on the way in which adverb describes any action or verb, they are further divided into four types. Adverb of manner will describe how an action happened. Adverb of place will describe where an action happened. Adverb of time will describe when an action happened. And adverb of frequency that describes how often the action took place. Remember these four types of adverb. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share the video so others can learn. And do subscribe to the channel to get regular updates about the course. Okay, people, we are starting to know what is an adverb. Now, if you think that words that only appear in the video are the only adverbs, no, you're in a big mistake. So, for example, all of these one, sorry, all of these ones are adverbs, okay? For example, we have surely, usually, patiently, silently, vacantly, perfectly, sleepily, vaguely, physically, slowly, vainly, playfully, smoothly, violently, politely, softly, vastly, poorly, sol solemnly, verbally, potentially, sometimes, viciously, powerfully, soon, soon victoriously, promptly, speedily, violently, gracefully, Majestically, crossly, gratefully, meaningfully, cruelly, greatly, mechanically, curiously, greedily, merrily, daily, happily, terribly, weirdly, thankfully, wrongly, really, truthfully, truly, no, sorry, throughoutly. Reassuringly, reassuringly, uh, thoughtfully, yearly, miserably, miserably, daintily, hastily, mockingly, this deceivingly, heavily, more. Well, it is saying morally. It's not morally. Morally doesn't exist. It's just more. Deeply, carefully. Hard, hard, exceeds hardly, but it's not an, as an adverb, hardly, hardly is adjective. Mortally, bigly, excitedly, joyfully, uh, blindly, extremely, jo uh, joyously, blissfully, pearly, Jubilantly, boldly, famously, justly, immediately, quicker, because if you use quickly, it's an adjective, not, not an adverb. Surprisingly, weakly, we have quickly as an adverb also, suspiciously, poorly, quietly, sweetly, windily, tonight, quickly, swiftly, whizzically, sympathetically, whizzily, rapidly, tensely, wonderfully, badly, adventurously, easily, innocently, bravely, and far. But you will, you will ask, Mr. Uh -huh. But 
Are those words we're going to use as an adverb? Yes, of course. All those words you're going to use an adverb. But tomorrow, we don't finish yet. Tomorrow, we're going to know what kind of, or what type of, of adverbs do we have right now? So let's go to our book on page number 235. Mics, people. Let's. Let's go on page number 235. Cameras, people, I want to see your cameras. Okay, let's go to page number 235. And the activity said, underline the verb in each sent the adverb, underline the, underline the adverb in each sentence. Write whether the adverb tells how, when, or where, okay? So in the line you're going to write, if the adverb said uh, how, if the adverb said when, or if the adverb said where. Start to work, only five minutes to do this. Come on, people, everybody with the camera on because I want to see. <clears throat> Sorry. I want to see if you're working. And I will pass the list. And I told you if you don't have the camera on, it's like you are not in classes. How many I have? I have 24, but it's, but it's still missing one. Who does, who is not in here? Alex is in here, Fatima, Los Gemelos. Andrea is here. Jimena is here. When you're working, I will, okay. Dylan, yes, Dylan is not here. Okay, people, someone said we can make about the software work of Honduras. Yes, of course, you can make it that because it's an historical yes, event. Mister. It's an historical event that in the 19th, in, uh, what year was? Uh, 1962, 72, I didn't, really don't remember. I think it was in 1962. <clears throat> so, okay, just wait, it's only five minutes, I said. No five seconds to finish the, 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 the classroom. In all the classes I don't have, I don't miss students, only in this one. I have to miss one. Okay, mm. Karim, very good. You already finished in five seconds, not five minutes. Because I said five minutes, not five Did seconds. Did I finish? Other. Hey, Mr. Manuel, very good. Remember, grammar homework, upload in the, in the platform. The audio mm -hmm. is by internet. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's by email. Only the audio is for email. The document upload in the platform, okay?
Okay, guys, come on, quickly, quickly. Uh, golpe de estado de Honduras en 2009. In English, in English, say it in English. I don't want Spanish words anymore. English, if you have any question, say it in English. Don't write it on the chat, say it. The events of the of um, 2009 about the strikes and um, what is the way we can say it? Um, let's see. I finished. Uh, for example, coup. The coup in Honduras. Golpe de Estado. Yeah, you can write it, about it. But not something mm -hmm. political. Okay. Not too much political. Like, uh, because Mel was the president, he would receive a coup. No. The events. What happened in those times? Okay, because he was in the Liberal Party Finish. and then the military made the strike and something. No, 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 no. The events. Just, I don't want political situations in there. It was a political situation, but I really want to know what happened. Why we receive a, 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 a about um, um, the coup. Why was the, which ones were the reasons for the coup? Which ones were the reason for the coup? Somebody, okay, let's see. Yes, you can write about the second world, the world war two. You can write about the, the Peste Negra. When I'm talking about historical events, doesn't matter if it, if it is only in Honduras or around the world, okay? Doesn't matter. I'm not specific in that. I'm really not talking about, you have to write about historical events in Honduras, no. I'm talking generally, okay? Around the world, around the world. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Let's answer our first our exercise. Let's answer our exercise, people. Okay, let's see. Number one, Fatima, read it. Lola hoped that she will go far in her car career. 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 As an engineer. Okay. Nola hoped that she would go far in her career as an engineer. Aha. That is your answer. Fatima. What is your answer? Well. Exactly. Is where? Number two. Karim. She and he'll work on here the site where 
Okay, she eagerly worked on her designs. And your answer is? Her. No, it's not the word, it's how. <clears throat> it's how. Number three, Madeline. One day, she finally allowed her friends to look at her, at her drawings. Aha. Uh -huh. One day, she finally allowed her friend to look at her drawings. What is your answer? When. Exactly. When. Number four, Diego Guardiola. Her friend jumped ahead in <clears throat> the pages to look at the final design. Design. What? Where? Exactly. Her friend jumped ahead in the pages to look at the final design. Her mm -hmm. and the uh, answer is uh, where. Okay, the next one, number six, Jose Manuel. Nola closed her eyes and soon envisioned um, her herself herself at um award ceremony ceremony how nola nola close her either and soon envision herself at the award ceremony when the answer is when and the number five and numbers five yes, yes. she thought nola thought invention inventively how and i give you the how? number six so Let's see, number seven, uh, Valenzuela. She dreamily imagined her parents saying how proud they were of her. How? Okay, she dreamily imagined her parents saying how proud they were of her. How? And the last one, number eight, I will say it. Nola pick up her pen and practice her for her future goal. And the answer is how. Okay, people, you have your assignment. You know the instructions. Work in Imagine Learning, people. 